Okay, so not having it back with some home front gameplay. This is part of the uh, shoot 'em up weekend. Shoot 'em up Saturday and shoot 'em up Sunday. You have tickets to the gun show. Let's get started. I'm using the ACR with a hollow sight and a. Uh, Where's my secondary? My secondary is like a pistol or some shit. I don't know. Uh, let me see here. This is a really good gameplay. I'm not going to say what the final score is, but I do really well. I really, really, really do well. Hell yeah. I just got finished playing this uh, a couple minutes ago. I got a couple more games that I'm going to uh, that I'm going to upload between now and the end of the weekend. Let's see. I have Call of Duty 4, SOCOM 4, of course, Homefront and Killzone 3. That's the lineup. Resistance 3, uh, the servers were down. Remember I said I was having some trouble getting into the games? Well, I, apparently I wasn't the only one. So now that they have the servers down, I can't get into a game. And I don't think there's anybody else that I know that plays it as of right now. I don't think anybody in my clan does or anybody that I work with. No. Anyway, whenever the damn servers get back up and everything gets going again... I'm going to be back on and I'll post more videos of it. If you haven't checked out the first video that I that I uh, posted a couple days ago, please take time to do that. The game looks very fun online. It's going to be, uh, for me, I'm going to have to get used to the mechanics of it. I think my sensitivity was too low. I'm going to have to tweak that. And I don't know. I'm just going to have to go with it. And uh, that's about it. I don't think there are... Well, are there any other betas? The next real big beta that I'm looking forward to is, of course, Battlefield 3. Now, I know that everybody is doing the whole comparing Battlefield to Modern Warfare 3, blah, blah, blah. I honestly think that Battlefield 3 has a really good chance of overtaking Modern Warfare 3. I, I'm, ser I'm serious. I'm serious. Let's say that they take all the good parts from Call of Duty series, like everything that's good, right? Let's say, they, let's say they're over at EA and, and, and DICE, and they're like playing every Call of Duty, like every day. You know, and it's like a team of them, you know, like a tiger team, right? And they, and, they, and they play it. Or a Puma team. I'll say a Puma team. And they play every Call of Duty. You know, I'm talking about Modern Warfare 1, Modern Warfare 2, World at War, Black Ops, all of them. And let's say they take down, they write down everything that worked good and what was very popular to, to the perks and, and the guns and the general mechanics of the game, maybe the levels, everything like that. Let's say they do that. They add that to Battlefield 3, along with everything that Battlefield already is known for. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? I seriously think that uh, the makers of Modern Warfare 3 and the makers of uh, Call of Duty, this, this version of Call of Duty, it's like 20 fucking people, 20, 20 companies that make Call of Duty. I don't know who it is now, but I think that they're... they're um, they're underestimating Battlefield 3 and what it has to offer and, I, and I, I honestly believe that that might hurt them in the long run because Battlefield 3 is the underdog if they don't do well so fuck what they're the underdog so what but I think they got some tricks up their sleeves and when that beta comes out when that beta drops I think it's gonna be a bit of a wake up call for the makers of Modern Warfare because they're going to be like, oh shit, they're really coming with the heat and we're going to have to step our game up and it might be too late in the game for that. It might be too late in the game for that. Let's say, let's say Modern Warfare 3 goes gold, you know, when they start printing it on a disc, going gold, let's say it goes gold before the beta hits and then when the beta hits, it's like, oh shit, this is way better, you know, than what Modern Warfare 3 will ever have to offer. What are they going to do then? I mean, you can only fix so much through a, a firmware update, I would imagine. Or maybe you can't. Maybe. I don't know. 
But I, I, my, my gut feeling is telling me that Battlefield 3 is going to take the crown. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Battlefield 3 could be, you know, it could not take the crown. I'm not going to say it's going to be a horrible game because I find it really hard to believe that anything with Battlefield's name of, on it is going to be a bad game. Online. I'm talking about online only. I'm talking about strictly online between the two games. Because I played Battlefield 3. I mean, Battlefield, no, not Battlefield 3, I'm sorry. Battlefield Bad Company 2. I played that game online, and I love it. I do. I really do. So, let's say that they get rid of maps the size of Texas. They scale them down a little. That would help out with the game, you know? Or they have a mode with bigger maps. I think that would help. I think it honestly would um, help out with the tempo of the game and the way that it's played. Because if you look at Call of Duty, it's all about tempo. It's all about getting the kills and getting the kill streaks. Gotta get your kill streaks. Gotta get your kill streaks. Gotta get your kills. Gotta do this. Gotta do that. You know, everything has to happen at once. Battlefield is more of a methodical type, you know? Okay, I'm gonna set up right here. Here's where my area is. I can set up my perimeter right here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna patrol this area and that's what it's gonna be. You know, and you could you could try to do that in Call of Duty and it works kinda well for bigger maps, but depending on the game mode, and shit like that. And you could try to be a rusher in Battlefield too. They don't really intermingle. That I mean, is intermingle a word? Ah fuck it. I'm saying it's a word. They don't intermingle. Hell yeah. Um, but they don't they you know but I think if Battlefield took, I'm not saying every good thing from Call of Duty, and don't blatantly copycat it, I think that they'll be good. I don't think that Battlefield 3 should have perks. I don't think they should have that. Because, you know, that, hell, I don't think, Mon I mean, I don't think Call of Duty should have perks. I mean, I really don't. From playing shooters, you know, first person shooter games online, Oh, I just say shooter. Play shooting shooting games online. The games with all perks. I mean, you really don't miss it. It really. I, I'm really not. Oh fuck! Wait, I'm wishing I had stopping stopping power. Well, I wish I had commando. Hell, he heard me coming. Hell, I wish I had ninja. No, you just learn how to play the game and you know get around that stuff. So I don't know, but I think Battlefield Three is going to take it. I and and while I'm playing Homefront, I think that. The second home front is going to be amazing because look at the first home front. This game was good. It wasn't, it wasn't extremely, it wasn't like the best game of the year, but it, it has a solid foundation online, solid fan foundation, gameplay, good. I like the perks. I like the guns. I like the way you unlock camo for the guns and everything. So, with that being said, I think home front, I think the second home front is gonna be a lot better. You know, graphical and and you know, audio, the whole overall experience, I think it's gonna be a lot better. And right here, what I was trying to do right here is I managed to pick the wrong class. So I was running around and I was like, fuck, I really need to die real quick so I can switch my class back. And I ended up getting you know, one or two kills with this class. It's like, you know, I didn't go all out kamikaze, but it's ironic that when I was trying to die, I managed to get some kills. You know, this was an awesome game. But anyway, I think Homefront 2 is going to be pretty good. Now, I, they haven't confirmed a Homefront 2, not to my knowledge. Maybe I missed, them, I missed something, but, you know, maybe they have. And if they have, then I think it's going to be great because I believe that the uh, developers are, of Homefront, you have to look at the Battlefield 3, you have to look at a Modern Warfare, you know, Call of Duty series, and you have to be like, look, how can we be as good as them? How can we stand on the same pedestal as them? How can we even out the playing field? And I think they're on the right track when they come out with the second one. And I'm saying when, because, I mean, I'm I'm predicting that they're going to come out with a second one. I would be absolutely shocked if they don't come out with, you know, a second one. I mean, shocked like if 
Dale Jr. was like, let's race on Daytona, and I beat him. I mean, shocked. That's how shocked I would be. But I, I would think that they have a good foundation, and I think they will add things to the game that will allow them to raise the bar a little bit, or maybe they'll do things better than Battlefield and Modern Warfare 3 and back and forth and back and forth. I think that, it, you know, this whole thing is pretty good. Uh, this video was just about done. Like I said, an excellent game. I think I went 21 and 10 or 11 or some shit. Like, comment, subscribe, spread the word. Yowsh, damn it. I'm not having it, and I'm out.